Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Bobby, in case you need a reminder, and I am the social media manager for Swirly Curly Hair. So welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing you six different hairstyles that you can do with your knotless box braids or your dreadlocks. Before we get into the video today, I want to give a quick shout out to Curl College. If you are somebody who is new to the natural hair community or you need some extra help with your natural hair and you don't really feel comfortable using just YouTube as your primary natural hair education platform, we here at Swirly Curly have our own natural hair education platform called Curl College. You get a free trial when you first sign up, okay, so you can check it out, see how you like it, and we have a huge variety of courses that you are able to take and Kaziya will walk you through your natural hair journey process. She also does one-on-one -on -one hair education sessions so check it out right here in the link right below my face curlcollege.com and let's get into the video so first things first I did these knotless box braids on myself about two weeks ago it'll be two weeks on Sunday so um, you know um, this is my second time doing knotless box braids so you can see like you know like my hair it's not tucked and you know it is a little bumpy but it's okay. It's okay because I still feel comfortable to wear this hair out, okay? So um, if you guys want to see how I do my own knotless box braids, put it in the comments below and I will do that video for you next time, okay? So the first hairstyle that I'm going to show you today is the classic space buns, okay? So I'm going to start with my swirly curly scrunchie. Look, I got the variety pack right here just kidding we don't actually have a variety pack but these are all of them <laughs> so um i'm going to take my velvet scrunchie right here i'm going to snap it Ooh. i'm going to snap it right here and then i'm going to take a small section of hair in the front just like this and I am going to take that black velvet scrunchie and I'm just gonna tie it just like this. Okay, and then on the other side, I'm going to take a similar amount of hair. Hopefully that's the same amount or... Okay, wait. Okay, so now that's and I'm going to take this section right here and I am just going to tie it around itself or wrap it around itself, I mean. That's better. And then on this side, Now I'm going to wrap So I I'm not feeling this one a hundred percent. I'm not I'm not feeling it. Yeah, guys, honestly, I'm not feeling this look 100%. I've done it before, but today it's just not really working. So let me just try um, two side ponytails instead. How about that? I want them to be going like backwards a little bit, like this. So do it a little bit further back. Back. 
that's better. Okay. Let me get a snappy. Maybe it's the actual tie. Okay guys, so this hairstyle kind of turned out to be a fail, okay, whatever. So I'm going to take out the scrunchies, okay, and I am going to try again with two snappies instead, okay. So um, same thing, I'm just going to section off my hair in the front to like do two random sections and I'm going to take my snappy and I am going to tie it around like this. Oh, so much better. I, you know, I think it was the size of the hair tie that I was doing that just was not working. Okay, but um, I think I'm gonna put this up a little bit higher actually. Okay, I'm just gonna redo this one. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so this is the first look. Two little ponytails using snappy hair ties. And then the rest of it is down in the back. Boop. We're giving playground realness, okay? I do feel kind of like a seven-year-old. So what? I think I'm cute, so. <laughs> so from here, we can easily transition into the next look, which is just the same thing except with two buns, okay? So I'm going to split the hair in half like this. And then I'm going to wrap one of the halves around the ponytail holder, like so. Take the, this is kind of cool. No, but then you take the second half and wrap in the same way. And boom. Same thing on this side. Separate it into half and then wrap. Same thing with these wrap around. And there we have it. Look number two. Okay, so from here, again, really easy to go on to the next style. Just gonna take these down. Okay, so from here we're going to do a half up pony, okay? So I'm gonna gather the front half of my hair. Like so. And then I'm going to take my snappy and I'm just gonna tie it around. Oh, did I miss one? Okay. And boom. This is the look. So from here, there's a few variations. We can do it, you know, 
traditional just like this but i personally like to pull the front two out and wear it down like this okay so from here again easy transition into the next style which is a half up half down bun so i'm these two weren't in the hair tie but i'm just going to hold them as if they were i'm gonna separate these two in sections same as before i'm going to take this front piece and i'm just gonna wrap it wrap it around Yes, and then you have this super cute bun. Half up, half down bun. Okay, so from here, we go into the next style, which is a bun. So for the bun, I think I'm actually going to use two snappies to get today, okay? So I'm going to unsnap one, and then I'm going to unsnap two then I'm going to snap them together like so then I'm going to just make one huge hair tie okay so now in order to make a bun I flip my entire head upside down like this Gather all the hair, like so. And then I take the hair tie. Okay, so. So this is the ponytail, but we're gonna go for a bun right now. So, in order to do a bun, I, could, I normally do this either um, one of two ways, okay? So the first way you saw me separate my mini ponytails into two sections and then wrap. I can do that with this huge ponytail or I can do it in three sections. Actually, you know what, this side ponytail is kind of cute. I don't know about y'all, but I'm kind of feeling this look. This wasn't a part of the video, okay? This was not planned, but I'm kind of feeling this. I'm gonna add this in here as an unofficial hairstyle for your braids, okay? It's just cute. But anyway, so I'm gonna separate it into three sections, so. Gonna take this piece and I'm going to wrap it okay and then same with these two Okay, and then the last section. And if it's too tight, I just like to pull out a little bit, um, like where it's pulling and it's making it kind of tight because I don't want to pull out my edges, okay? Um, so I don't want my bun to be lopsided. Normally when I wrap, in the front it ends up being like um, more concentrated here than in the back and then it looks kind of weird so i'm gonna start the wrap from the back for this last section i'm just gonna take it here and pull it around and 
And there's my bun. Okay, and honestly guys, most of the time I wear my hair with my two little antlers in the front as I occasionally like to refer to them as. So I will just pull. So I could either do one, which works, like this is cute, I would wear this out, or I could go with the second one as well. The bun did loosen up a little bit, so I'm just gonna tuck any loosey-goosey pieces. Now I can wear it like this, with the two. So you guys, tell me what you think. Tell me which style would you wear, which one are you not really the biggest fan of? Um, do you even wear braids at all, you know? And also, let me know if you want me to show you how I do um, these knotless box braids, okay? Um, I've done them twice so far, well, three times technically. Um, I've done this style, I've done this one as well, and this third one. Um, so let me know, let me know, and, you know what other styles you would like to see me do, especially with my braids, what kind of protective style um, education videos you would like to see and yeah guys that is the end of the video okay so thank you for tuning in and I will see you next time